How's it going, my evil residents? Welcome to Plot Armor. In this series, we tally up the medical bills of our favorite characters and see how often they should have died. For their bills, to keep things fair, I will be tallying the cost in US dollars without insurance of any kind. We will also be tallying every time a character survives something out of sheer luck, usually due to the writing of the game. Count these by giving out chief tokens, which are named after the main character of the Halo series, Master Chief, because one, his main trait is that he's lucky, and two, I just really like Halo. I won't waste any more of your time, let's get right into the video. Right off the bat in the first chapter, Sebastian is stabbed somewhere in the face slash neck region and then is strung upside down and unconscious for a long amount of time. Though his face would be fine and I'm not going to charge him any medical bills, bleeding out while upside down and unconscious for however long this is, will probably just kill you, so I'm going to charge him a death right off the bat. Since Sebastian is a police officer in the United States, he is not being charged any medical bills because in America, the police cover your funeral costs if you die, so all of Sebastian's deaths will be free. I'm also giving Sebastian a chief token here because the sadist just doesn't chop him up. He randomly skips to the next guy and chops up the next guy. Having a chainsaw slash your calf like this would most likely sever most of the tendons in your leg, meaning you wouldn't be able to use it. This would likely require lots of reparative surgery, as well as a little bit of physical therapy. So I'm going to charge him $12,000. Sebastian falls down this trapdoor, he falls for about 12 seconds at about a 40 degree angle. He hits a couple things along the way down, and then he hits this shallow pool at the bottom here at about 100 miles per hour. Because he lands on his legs, and he wasn't quite at terminal velocity, this would not kill him, meaning I do have to charge him for his shattered legs and spine. Altogether, with charges of physical therapy and surgery, and just general medical bills, this would cost Sebastian about $450,000. If there was no ramp here, Sebastian would have just died and saved himself $400,000. I mean, I would take that trade easily. I'm also going to charge him $2,000 here when he lands in the pool because he ingests unknown and most likely contaminated blood. He could get sick from overconsumption of iron at the least. At the worst, he could get some sort of bloodborne illness. This could be a wide variety of things, so charging $2,000 is about a middle number for this. It could be next to nothing. It could be a lot because it could be a lifetime debilitating disease that he gets from this. So I'm just going to charge this as just to note that it's there, but not drastically inflate the list. After this ambulance falls off the bridge, Sebastian is knocked unconscious for an extended period of time in a burning car. This would likely cause him some brain damage because if you don't know, being knocked unconscious for more than like 5 seconds will cause you permanent brain damage, which would require therapy and other things like that. Depending on the extent of the brain damage, it might even damage your bodily functions. So generally on this channel, I charge $150,000 for being knocked unconscious for a really, really long time. I will also be charging Sebastian $1,000 here because he was inhaling fumes from a burning car while unconscious for God knows how long. I mean, he would likely have to go to the hospital. So I'm just going to charge $151,000 right here. When Sebastian jumps off this bridge and into the river, it's later proven by literally the next cutscene that this water is only about three feet deep, meaning Sebastian jumped from about 10 feet above the water 
bite onto his ass, he would probably like bruise his tailbone or something, which normally there would be no charge for. But Sebastian doesn't do what is recommended by most doctors and sit for a couple days and like not walk or do too much exercise. He literally goes on to do the rest of the game, which means I'm going to charge him $8,000 for muscle repair and other treatment like that because he doesn't uh he doesn't take care of himself this guy he would rather just like you know live than take care of his bruised tailbone so i'm charging him eight thousand dollars i do want to acknowledge this because i know someone's going to bring it up sebastian injects himself in exactly the same place with the healing items throughout the entire game he doesn't swap arms swap locations or anything he would likely get light bow hypertrophy from this which if you don't know when little clumps of tissue build up from where you inject yourself usually this happens if you have diabetes and you don't swap where you inject yourself with sebastian would probably get this there's not going to be a charge for it it just would hurt there's not really much you could do about it and it would just go away eventually so i just wanted to bring it up but there's not really a charge for this Much like the Resident Evil 7 video, go watch that if you haven't watched it, this chainsaw has a wood cutting chain on it and it could not cut through a massive metal chain like this that is many many inches thick. It could probably cut through like a small regular size chain, but not one this large. Plus on top of this, the sparks from this distance would be very dangerous without a welding mask or something like that and the sparks could get in Sebastian's eye or he could just go blind from the brightness. So overall for this, I'm just going to charge a cheap token. I was having this issue last time of not knowing how to charge for blindness from sparks. So I'm just going to give him a cheap token. Much like the last incredibly long fall Sebastian took, he would honestly be better off if it didn't slowly rotate or like have any sort of slope to break his fall because that's what makes him survive. But also, it's what absolutely decimates his back and his legs. Well, in this case, not his legs. But if your spine is absolutely shattered, you would need lots of physical therapy from this. You probably wouldn't be able to walk. So I'm going to be charging him $450,000 for spine repair, physical therapy for literally years. With how much fire, smoke, flaming gasoline, and other dangerous chemicals Sebastian inhales throughout pretty much this entire game, I'm just gonna I'm gonna charge Sebastian for lung cancer treatment for his whole life. I'm gonna charge him $250,000 right here. About half of that is end of life care for lung cancer. Uh, no, I did not just get this number from Breaking Bad. Uh, leave me alone. I'm charging $250,000. I wasn't 100% sure if I should charge for this, but I think it's fair since I charged Mason for it in the Black Ops 1 plot armor video. Electroshock therapy from machines like this, even in real life, can cause short-term memory loss, memory problems in general, electricity burns and scars on your head from like the helmet thing that he has in this game. The shock isn't as strong as it was in the Black Ops 1 video because that one just knocked Mason out. This one, Sebastian is clearly in pain whenever it happens and it's clearly not comfortable for him. So I'm going to charge a lower amount. But with how many times you'll likely upgrade in this game, the medical bill is still high for the memory loss therapy and the burns and scars and stuff that are going to be on his head. So I'm going to charge $80,000 here, mostly for the therapy. I'm not going to charge plot armor here because this video isn't about Kidman, but I did just want to go over how ridiculous this section is. Kidman 
according to the Evil Within wiki, is five foot nine. But she wears four inch heels for most of this game, meaning she is six one while in this box. Taking the height of Kidman with a screenshot I took and relating it to the sizes of the pixels, I found the pixels per inch of the image and found the dimensions of this box and then calculated with average water flow four pipes that I will show on this graph right here for US cities. How much water is flowing into this pipe? How full it is already? Sebastian and Joseph would have about two minutes before this tank fully fills with water. And then I have no idea how long Kidman can hold her breath. I doubt she's like an Olympian that can hold it for like 20 minutes or something like that. So this whole section here takes about 10 minutes. I'm pretty sure Kidman would not survive this. So this isn't plot armor. I just wanted to bring it up because I thought it was hilarious that somebody drowns. Uh, I know when I word it like that, it's not funny, but uh, it was while I was doing the math. So I'm leaving it in here because I already did the math and I didn't want to feel like I wasted my time. Ah! Also, right after this, Sebastian jumps into a hole of utter blackness. I have no idea how deep this hole is and I feel bad just guessing. So I'm just going to I'm going to let it slide. I'm going to let this one slide, Sebastian. You got off easy right here. Good job, I guess. both Lara boss fights, I'm going to charge a chief token because Sebastian is very, very lucky that Lara attacks him in a furnace room where there is fire, her only weakness. Literally, if Lara attacked him at any other point in the game, Sebastian would be absolutely cooked, but Lara is just stupid. So I'm charging a chief token here and I will charge one later for the second Lara boss fight. Right here when Sebastian is near this explosion from the bridge exploding because Joseph is literally an idiot. I'm going to charge $5,000 for a light concussion, bruises, and treatment for whiplash because he's close to the explosion. He hits his head on the stone bridge, which would likely crack his skull. It would likely just need stitches. I'm going to charge $5,000 for all the treatment combined here. I'm going to charge Sebastian another chief token because if somebody didn't just previously write the solution to the puzzle on this wall, there would be no way to know what the actual solution was, especially since the gate always opens. And the only way to know if you got the answer correct is to walk through the spike tunnel, this tunnel of spikes. So I'm going to charge chief token here. They're very, very, very lucky that somebody just wrote the, the solution on the wall right here. I'm going to charge $15,000 for this because I know this is a trap that is normally optional through the game, but this one here specifically is scripted. Sebastian did step in this and did get barbed wire wrapped all around his leg. Probably a lot of barbed wire lacerations, which would likely need stitches. Sebastian would be bleeding a lot. So I'm going to charge $15,000 here because there's so many like little stitches and lacerations that would need to be done here. I'm charging a chief token in the keeper boss fight as well because the gas is just randomly less potent despite the fact that there's way more tubes where it comes out of than there was earlier it makes no sense so it gets a chief token For this part, when Sebastian is running away from Red Mist in the weird mannequin room, I'm going to charge him three chief tokens for each of the locks that are in this room. I know you're wondering why I didn't charge for any of the other ones in this game. It's because in those, it's not 
urgent that you have to get through the lock so Sebastian could reasonably, like, pick the lock or break it with something that's just sitting around. So that's why I didn't charge for those. But these three specifically, Sebastian has no time to get the locks open that way. There's not really anything around for him to do so. If you don't know, shooting a lock doesn't open locks. It's very, very unlucky. <laughs> and you could also, the bullet could just reflect and you could shoot yourself. Uh, also, Sebastian could just punch locks open in this game with his bare fist, which is hilarious. Neither of these would work in real life in this scenario, or it would be very, very, very unlikely that the small caliber of his handgun bullets would open this, and a shotgun probably wouldn't do a great job either without hurting Sebastian. So I'm going to charge three chief tokens here. After finding out that Dr. Jimenez does not have plot armor, he, he wants out. Sebastian is lucky that he gets smacked by the amalgam through the wall magically interdimensionally because if Sebastian did hit the wall, he would be hit with another, arguably more painful $400,000 medical bill from his back being absolutely destroyed. So I think Sebastian lucked out here. He lucked out hard. I'm, I'm just going to give him the chief token. I'm giving another chief token here when Sebastian is venting because you can just easily see through the crate and he's lucky that Malcolm Alpha didn't just grab him because he grabs like a foot in front of him. So yeah, chief token. Right here, Sebastian is smacked into a car, and while it is a fast smack, he doesn't fly quite as far, so the, the fall isn't as fast. So I'm going to charge him a little less. His back is a little less destroyed, so I'm only going to charge $200,000. I literally cut the bill in half. I know that's still a ridiculous medical bill, but I literally cut it in half. Spines are expensive, okay? Spines are expensive to treat. I mean, they're literally spines. For this fall, I am charging a death because there's no ramp or slope or anything whatsoever to break Sebastian's fall. And it's also from very high up. So it's just a death. That is that is the difference. The slopes are literally what saves Sebastian and also gives him the high medical bills. When Sebastian is in the city, much like in the Black Ops 2 plot armor video, there's lots of gross flood water just around the city that could have God knows what in it. Motor oil, gasoline, parasites, dirt, human feces, animal feces, other human liquids that I don't want to talk about. There could be literally anything in this water. So I'm going to charge $3,000 here just for parasite treatment for swimming and being in gross flood water for an extended period of time. I am charging Sebastian a death for this fall because it's about a four story fall and at that height falling in the water would just feel like concrete and even if he didn't this water is shallow enough for Sebastian to stand in which means it's only about like three feet deep or so which would not break his fall whatsoever he would likely just die from this fall. Leslie? Leslie is that you?
It is absolutely insane that Sebastian can walk across this crane and this random girder sticking out from this path right here. Absolutely insane that he, he can walk on this with no problem, especially if you're playing this with enemies chasing you, that he can walk across it as quickly as he does. So I'm charging a chief token here. While Sebastian is fighting the giant boss in chapter 12, he is very lucky that he was never just flung from the bus while fighting him because he is not this this guy is not buckled in whatsoever okay he's not buckled in definitely not and uh kidman takes some sharp right and left turns while driving this special would most definitely fall off this bus because he would just hit the side the side is lower than his waist so center of gravity is up so he would just probably just fall over so i'm charging chief duggan right here noticed is that each time I run across one, I seem to be closer to the lighthouse. It could be a coincidence, but like I said, it seems as if there is some intelligence. So you figure we ought to cut to the chase and just head straight to the hospital. Exactly. Nice work, detective. Right side, like it led more directly toward the hospital. For this part, I know that Sebastian and Joseph are flung from the car, but even then, Ruvik throws this bus hard enough for it to slam through the building through multiple concrete walls. You can see them in the cutscene. All of these walls are solid concrete, and the bus goes through all of them. If Ruvik threw the bus that hard, everyone in this bus would die on impact from the sudden stop and the force of their insides liquefying as they hit the wall. So they would all just die here. I'm giving Sebastian a chief token here as well because the elevator falls after he gets off of it when there's less force applied to it. Um, if it was just going to fall, it would have fell when he jumped on it. Doesn't really make sense. So I'm charging a chief token. And Sebastian is in this weird saw blade drone kitchen room. I don't know what to call this where all of the pilot lights on all the ovens and stuff go off. I'm charging Sebastian $50,000, $25,000 for each ankle because these little ankle biter saw blade traps. There's no way. I don't I don't think Sebastian could have dodged these. Every time I've played this area and I've replayed this game three times, I've never not taken damage here. So I don't think it's possible to go through this area without the saw blades hitting your ankles. So I'm charging $50,000 to repair both of his ankles. That is a very sensitive area to repair, which is why the medical bill is so high. Sebastian falls on his back two stories, which I don't think would destroy his back, but his head would hit the concrete since he falls directly onto his back. He'd probably have a severe concussion and then his ribs might be broken from the debris falling on top of him. So even though it's a relatively short fall, that I think wouldn't cause him to die. And the way the debris falls, their debris is like propped on each other. But I still think it would injure his ribs just from that much concrete being on top of him. And then the big fall. So I'm going to charge $85,000 for all of those injuries. Also right here, he was knocked unconscious for an extended period of time. So usual $150,000 charge. After Quell grabs Sebastian and throws him, he is slammed through a metal fence into a concrete pillar. His spine is decimated, and since it's a short throw and not like a super long throw, I'm just going to charge the 225 that I charged for the Amalgam Alpha boss fight when he got slammed into the car. It's about the same distance, about the same uh, strength of throw, I guess is the best way to worth that. So $225,000. I am not charging a chief token that Ruvik throws the rebar through the subway car like windows instead of at Sebastian because he's clearly just messing with him. He wasn't going to throw it at him anyway, but I am charging a chief token for when Sebastian jumps out of the subway car and is teleported into the hallway because I one, I don't think he would have made the jump Two, he should have died here. He only did not because Ruvik is an idiot. So chief token. This way I'm going to come down. This way. Sebastian! Leslie!
right here, Sebastian is lucky that Ruvik slowly chokes Sebastian instead of instantly Mr. Smith from the Matrixing them like he did the three cops right before this. And after the weird spotlight dodging tunnel room thing, Sebastian outruns this saw blade with his grandpa stamina and just casually walking through the blood pools. I don't think he would have been able to do this. There's other spots in this game where sure, that's fine. But with these deep blood pools, you can see how slow he walks. I don't think Sebastian would have been able to outrun this. I'm going to charge a deep token here. This is freaking ridiculous. I saved and quit on this section to replay it about 10 times, and every single time that I replayed it, there was some sort of debris that clipped through Sebastian. So he would most definitely be hit by some of the debris here from the basically exploding building. So there's a lot of different charges that could be here. He could just straight up die. He could be paralyzed. He could just like break a leg or an arm. He could just bruise him or knock him over. There's a lot of different stuff that could happen here. So I'm going to charge like a middle average amount of $30,000 because nothing could happen or he could die or he could just be straight up crippled. 100% chance that he's hit by debris here. But since nothing actually happens, I don't know what to charge here. So I'm going to charge this middle amount. I know I already charged Sebastian to death here when he gets hit on the spike. Sebastian would just die on impact from that, but since you are impaled by this spike for a significant amount of gameplay, I think it's fair that I charge for this. If you don't think it's fair, that is totally fine. Just remove this medical bill from the top of the tally that I say at the end, because oh my god, this single charge, this is the highest single charge in any plot armor video I have done up to this point. And it's honestly not even close. I think it's like $300,000 of my previous highest charge. It is ridiculous. And it all comes down to where Sebastian got impaled. The spike went through Sebastian's kidney, which on its own would cost $450,000 to replace. That is how much a kidney cost to repair and insert with surgery. That is assuming he could find a donor quickly. And on top of this, there's a massive hole in Sebastian, all the bleeding, some of his intestines would likely be damaged because your intestines wrap up and next to your kidney. There would be probably some broken bones and ribs from where the impact is because that is on the lower part of your rib cage. Sebastian officially gets the highest survivable medical bill in the plot armor series because yes, I literally contacted a doctor. I had a friend whose partner is a doctor. I emailed him. I asked him. Yes, I sent him a clip of this fucking video game ask him i'm surprised he didn't bill me i'm surprised he didn't bill me for asking me for asking such a stupid question and he said yes it is survivable with immediate medical care so i'm charging for it because it is the highest medical bill in the series this is eight hundred and fifteen thousand dollars half of that alone is the cost of the fucking kidney
last and honestly most certainly least because the least painful thing that happens about to Sebastian in this entire game Hitman saves Sebastian by pretending that he's dead. So Sebastian gets one last chief token. I know we're kind of going out with a whimper after that giant medical bill, but hey, that's what happens in the game. Looking at Sebastian's totals, he had 39 chief tokens, 15 deaths, and a medical bill of a whopping 3,183,000. That is by far the highest in the series. The previous highest is Ethan Winters from Resident Evil 7 and 8. That is two combined games total. If we're talking about a single game tally, the highest is Alex Mason from Black Ops 1. Sebastian absolutely cleared with how much he went through in this game. I didn't even charge this dude for therapy. I charged Alex Mason for therapy. I didn't charge Sebastian for therapy like mental therapy. I didn't charge him for that. That is how ridiculous his medical bills are. If you think I should have charged him for therapy, let me know in the comments. I probably should have, but I didn't. I will put some totals of other characters I covered for this series on the screen right now. Uh, just if anyone wants to compare, see how OP some other characters are, see what videos you might want to check out. But otherwise, that's going to do it for this one. If you liked it, drop a like. If you disliked it, feel free to dislike it, but let me know why in the comments. We have channel memberships if you want to support me more directly. And we have a Discord if you want to chat with me on Discord and tell me that my math is wrong because some of it probably is. And yeah, that is going to do it for this video. Stay evil, my residents.